<laughs> Hello, my wonderful people. God bless you all. My great fans, my wonderful family, my friends. God bless you all for your support. I appreciate you all. God bless you. Today, I want to advise some people because too much of everything is bad. Sometimes we need to take time and think about what we are doing and what we are evolving ourselves with into also. Especially some of you that call yourself Christians, child of God, children of God, Christ believers. Sometimes you need to sit down and ask yourself some questions. Reason very deeply about what you are doing and about what you are involving yourself with. We need to think, some of you are there, you need to think about it. You see, for instance now, husband and wife that have been together so long, God said that marriage is honorable by him. And uh, he said what he has joined together. Let no one put a thunder into it. You see, sometimes we do things out of, out of no thinking. Out of, now I saw my mate, they do one. At the end, some of you there will be crying. Inside you, why do you even enter this kind of problem? Because you didn't settle down and think about what you want to do and about your own stand as a Christian, as a believer, before you now involve yourself into that thing. And when the problem will start, it will it will, it will turn to a big problem that will some some of it some of some people cannot even take take it. They will even lost their lives. Some people have lost their lives along this issue of marriage. Brothers and sisters, uncle, auntie, daddy, mommy, it's time we start thinking about all these government benefits social fame, all these things. It's hard time now. It's hard time. We start thinking about it. If it is really a help from our God Almighty, it's hard time we start thinking about it. Because he has caused a lot of trouble. He has caused a lot of damages to many, many marriages, to many, many homes. And it is not the will of God. God help is a blessing. God favor is a is a is peaceful. He had into life. He promotes life. God help that comes from God. He doesn't destroy home. He he doesn't destroy peace. Rather, he brings more harmony, peace to the home, freedom to the home. Okay, imagine a husband that have been to husband and wife that have been together for so long, for decades, for years. Because of this government fair, a, a social fair, they will tell you a wife, honorable wife. They will tell you because of small, small money that you are going to be benefiting from them. Or maybe you want to get house. Or maybe you want to get one or two things. They will ask you to deny your husband. And really, you will go ahead and deny your husband that you are not married. So people, they will, they will tell you to go and separate from your husband. And truly, you will go. You will go and separate from your husband. All in the name you want to get from government benefits. All in the name that you want to get one or two things from them. You will not be the one uh, that is putting a standard in your marriage. You will not tear your marriage apart. You will not destroy your marriage. My brothers and sisters, is that the will of God? 
in children of God's line, in the Christ of in the life of Christ's children or Christ's believer? No, no. You will see a wife. He has been with the husband in Nigeria for so long. They have, they have been married for 20 years. They have been married for 15 years. They have been married for 10 years. Immediately they relocate from Nigeria to London or from any part of Africa to UK. You will see that the marriage automatically it will collapse because of government benefits. They will ask them to deny their husband. They will deny their husband. You will become slave. You will become mumu. They will first of all pursue your head. The head, the crown that God has put in your head for so years now. All these things, is it really from God? Is he a blessing from God? All these things. It will lead to the marriage. The marriage will destroy. The children, the, 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 you, you now will not be the one enjoying the government benefits. They will give you house. They will give you job. You will not neglect your husband. Some of them, some women have become so wicked. They will not even let the husband see the children again. My people, is it not clear to you all that this is no blessing from God? Is it how God says his children should be getting marriage? Is it how children go? Is it is it how God says we should live with our husbands? And the worst part of it, if you take it to other countries, it's not like this at all. I have never heard before Indian woman. He go not deny husband just to get government benefit. I've not seen. Or other countries, we it's not only Nigeria that is in that is in abroad. It's not only Nigeria that is foreigner in US. In, in, in Canada, in England, in, in uh, uh, Belgium, Germany, Austria, Italy, France, Germany. It's not only Nigerians. My brothers and sisters, my ladies, my fellow ladies, some of you are there. It is time you start thinking. Is that a blessing from God? Why be saying that only Nigeria ladies, this thing always they happen to? Only Nigerians. Majority of people where they happen to now, Nigeria ladies. Some of Nigeria ladies. Now some of Nigeria ladies. Now you go here say pursue a husband. Or in the name of government benefit is behind her. It will send the husband away. It will pursue. They, they will reduce their husband to tissue paper to rag. Or in the name say he believe in. In government benefit, social fair, no respect again, no get respect for your husband. The husband have turned to rat already. They have already guaranteed her that if you pursue your husband, this is the amount they will be giving you. Is it not clear to you all that this is not a help? Is it not clear that this is not a help from God? How will somebody want to help you who ask you to deny your husband? Ah uh ah. -uh. My people, Habego, we need to start thinking. We need to start thinking all these things because it's too much. So people are even killing their husband now. It is too much. This is not honoring. How can somebody say there, there was a one woman? Just listening. A woman felt sick. He was totally sick that he has a newborn baby. He cannot, he cannot carry this newborn baby. And the husband is going to work. This is a new baby of, uh, of uh, uh, two weeks. Okay, the husband is going to work. Okay, they say, okay, as it be, now go and meet Sosia. Okay, the woman run to Sosia with a condition. He was having a, a sickness. I think it was, I don't know. He can't even move. So they even give her, uh, I think, a uh, hundred percent invalidator. That is what they give to that woman. Okay, now he went to go and meet assistants. Assistant is socially or government government help. He called for government help. The only thing they can offer this woman is to collect the newborn baby from the woman and the husband and give it to another another Italian woman, uh, uh, lady, another people. 
that that they will be in charge another white people that will be in charge of the newborn baby they will be government government will be paying 1500 to that to that family to that woman that will be taking care of the baby and the mother will only have the parent will only have once in a week which is saturday to be visiting the child in another woman's hand then the, the father of the baby now i say no and the mother then i say no this is not help okay instead of giving you giving that white lady 1005 to be taking care of the baby is my own child me i can find somebody that will come to my house to come and be taking taking care of this child for me my whole child for me just give me 500 euro to help me he said oh, that 1005 just give me 500 euro inside i will find somebody that will be coming to my house to come and be taking care of my baby for me do you know what they tell this family they say no they cannot help like that or the woman release the newborn baby out before they will help my people is that a help to you? Is that a help? That is not a help. Automatically, opportunity now. They want to sit on it and collect that little child from that woman. Let's assume you say the woman and the man we are not careful enough. They will give them the baby. Imagine a baby, a woman, another woman start nurturing from two weeks. Do you think that child will belong to that family again? No, it will not belong to the family. They automatically collect the child. So that is why we need to start thinking. It's an investment. It's no help. So you can't, somebody cannot say destroy your marriage. Or in the name we want to help you, my people, you better wake up. I beg you all. We need, we need to start calculating what we are accepting in our lives. Because there are a lot of things, a lot of trouble that is going on. That some of you are there, you are the one that use your hand to cause this trouble. You are the one that use your hand to cause this wala to yourself. All in the name of Loga Droth. All in the name of Fe. Oh, in the name of some people, even enter. Nobody said they really need that. Just because my maid, they do one. You are being with your husband, for instance, in France, for 10 years together. Because you people want to relocate now to England or to US, they will ask you to deny your husband that you have lived your life with. 10 good years, you people have children together. You will deny your husband woefully. My brother, if that marriage not not settle, what is going to happen? Now, I wish. This one not be wished. Now, you can't be the wish. Where is the wish you yourself? Because you have already destroyed your marriage. It's not only denying it for a man. They will put, they will put uh, satellite. They will put everything to the monitor all the things they will do for you. If that man will show, some men will even show. They will be hiding. Oh my word. Oh my word. What, what, what a lie. What a shame. The head of the house will show. They will hide. Uh -uh. Please, I'm begging you all. Let every one of you start thinking. This thing has destroyed many, many marriages. All in the name of government benefits. All in the name of social fair. Social want to help. Oh. Eh, social go give you hassle. Social go they give you, they go they give you a picking 300 euro. Many marriages have been destroyed. At the end, you start pointing figure. I've been at my mother in law. I've been at wish. Hey, eh, now that thing. Whereas. You are the one that have already destroyed your marriage. I beg you all. We have to be very careful. You need to rethink. You need to know what you are doing. Don't destroy your marriage or in the name what you want to get from government. Don't kill your husband or in the name you want to you want to get from government. Ah uh ah. -uh. Some of you there. Some of you ladies. I beg you all. Your children will grow. They will ask of their father. No matter how you will paint it, the truth will come out. No matter how you paint their father, the truth they will find out. 
we should not base our life on top of government benefits. There are many ways to benefit government. When you work, you will achieve the benefit from government. Work with your hand. Tell God to give you a job. When you have a good job, there are many ways to benefit from government. Like this uh, uh, children they are paying for now. If you are working, they will pay for you. You will enjoy it. If you are not working, they are also paying. Those are the, the blessings from God. But not the one that will tear your whole apart. That is not from God. We all should start thinking. It's not from God, my people. I beg you all. Stop destroying your marriage. Or in the name of benefits, benefit here, benefit here. The time we will day Africa, we don't know about all the benefits. If not, boy, now say, oh, before, before anything, deny your husband. Before I go help you for Nigeria. Before I go, you go enter this uh, house where I build. Where this say I tell the help people. If you not deny your husband, you not go enter this house, collect anything free. Shabi we go put on for her and say, Buari na wicked man, oh, Buari na devil, Buari na useless man, oh, who? But, they are using it in abroad now. Nah. <laughs> They are using the same scope that will make you to put fire for us. Say, boy, no good. Hey, ah. The same, the same government now. They are collecting your children. They are tearing your home apart. They are destroying marriages. You people are not thinking. You people are not reason. You are not thinking. All oh, in the name of government benefit, social benefit. He has destroyed many, many things. So we may not get respect again because they know say the country where they they, they get they get advantage more than the men. They they insult the men, they just bless the men anyhow. I beg you all. At the end of it all, you can't run away. What you sow today, that is what you will rape tomorrow. I beg you all. Please think, ladies, some of you are there. Think about what you are doing. Think about the kind of help that you are collecting that is tearing your home apart. I beg you all. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen.